This AI can consistently win at Battleship. Let's find out how. Unless you're some sort of math wizard, or the person who always peeps over the screen, you probably resorted to the tried and true method of random guessing in Battleship. Some intellectuals may claim that the diagonal grid is the optimal way, but grinding is a boring gameplay mechanic that should be left to MMOs. So where does this leave us? This leaves you and I in the category of people who take 78 shots to win the game of Battleship. But not for long, because we have technology. We have technology. <coughs> for those of you who've never played the game Battleship, in short, Battleship is a game where two friends wage war. However, unlike disputes over land and oil, the only fighting that goes on in this game is when one of you tries to place your ship diagonally, Battleship is kind of like a game of hide and seek, and once your ships have been hidden, they cannot move. You and your friends take turns guessing where the opponent hid their ships, and whoever can find all of them wins. Winner, winner, chicken dinner. Cool. Now that everyone's caught up on Battleship, let's take a look at the AI. As you probably guessed through the heat map shown earlier, this AI is using an algorithm called Standard Population Distribution, not to be confused with the speed stat of you clicking the like and subscribe button. Spida works by taking all the possible moves that can be made and finding which tiles have the most potential moves. Think of it like how Doctor Strange is able to foresee all the futures. This kind of nerdy math will help you become a Marvel superhero too. The hero of... statistics? Ah, I don't know. But the X-Men will take you anyways. I'll start from the beginning. My name is Deadpool, and I'm an X-Men. Alright, now that you found your super suit, let's observe the heat map and how it changes over time. First, we have our natural grid. Notice how when the AI hasn't hit anything, it has a large area of moves. After that, we see the AI hit something and it pans out into a cross. This is our blast radius of tiles from the north, south, east, and west of the value that was hit. Let's now watch how this game goes. Nice, the game was quick enough to be clipped into a short. All I need now is some subway surfer footage. Cool, so now let's figure out how to code up this bad boy. To start, we're gonna need a game, and sadly, import Battleship isn't a Python library, so we're gonna have to code this ourselves. And since it's a game, we're gonna be needing oop. And this isn't the type of oops I need to make a new video because I'm too lazy to make a game. This is object-oriented programming. Oops can be scary to some, but let's take our flashlights and go fight this monster under our bed. Battleship is a game, and it comes in a box, and inside the box are pieces. Bam! Just like that, you did oops, but with real life toys. Now let's take all that and convert it into code. First, we're going to code the pieces, and wow, that's it? This coding stuff's pretty easy. Now let's take a look at... Oh. Oh my. Don't be scared though. Essentially all what these functions are doing is getting and setting the pieces on the board. I just need to type a lot so when future employers see this code, they'll think I'm worth the big bucks. With our board all set up, we can now look at our AI. Nah, <laughs> it's not that simple. We're going to need the two functions we learned earlier, the standard population distribution and the targeting. For standard pop distribution, we are going to be using the function called find all possible ship moves which contains an additional feature of finding a way to destroy our CPU. <laughs> I'm kidding, of course, but the big O for this is not small at all, and we're going to be iterating through every tile that's on the board and checking if the ship can be vertically or horizontally aligned on it. And we're going to be doing this with every piece in the game. This stuff would be nightmarish to do manually, and until robots start protesting for equal treatment, we can ask our computers to do all this boring work for us. Awesome. Now that we have the stand pop dist, we can now take a look at the targeting. Essentially, what this sums up to is a splash function which will be taking our hit tile and adding a back off amount to the adjacent nodes. And there you have it! You just learned how to code this Battleship AI. If you want to see how the GUI is implemented, my GitHub can be found in the comments and descriptions below, and if you like this video, you should check out this other one and consider subscribing. Till next time, friends!